Hi everybody, this is Derek Crow with Brave New Foundation's Rethink Afghanistan campaign and I thought I'd talk to you a little bit today about what I think is one of the worst weeks the mainstream media has had as far as reporting on Afghanistan goes in a really long time. Uh, you're probably aware of the WikiLeaks release that happened over the weekend uh, that basically released about 90,000 documents on the war in Afghanistan that really confirm what we've been saying here at the Rethink Afghanistan campaign for some time, that the war isn't making us safer, it's not worth the cost, and it's causing enormous human suffering both for us and for the Afghans. Uh, the reaction of the mainstream media was largely to yawn. I saw Anderson Cooper's blog post an opinion piece that basically said it was an epic yawn fest. Now, when I read things that say 16-year-old girls are being raped, or deaf people are being shot, or the troops are strafing buses full of civilians. Those aren't yawn fests to me, and I don't think they're yawn fests to anyone else. Those are serious indications that we are on the wrong track in Afghanistan. And so for the mainstream media to sit here and tell us that, oh, there's nothing to see here, folks, move along, I think it's really disingenuous, and it shows how they haven't done their job over the last decade of reporting on war. The second thing that happened this week that was of enormous concern to me was the uh, announcement that Time Magazine's new cover is going to feature a woman whose nose has been cut off next to the title, What Happens If We Leave Afghanistan? Now, this is a gross distortion, and it's really a piece of propaganda, because what you read in the article is that that attack on that woman happened last year, while tens of thousands of U.S. troops were already in Afghanistan. The Kabul government is absolutely not a friend to women. They frequently break their own constitutional guarantees for the protection of women. Parliament is shot through with these regressive warlords that we've backed with our guns and money as uh, pawns in our game against the Taliban. But what that's done is radicalize the politics in Afghanistan and allow the anti-women groups to have serious decision-making authority within the government. So again, I think this really was one of the low points for the mainstream media in their coverage of the Afghan war. And that's why media outlets like the Young Turks and projects like Brave New Foundation's Rethink Afghanistan a documentary are absolutely essential. So please join us on Facebook.com slash Rethink Afghanistan. That's a great place for you to find out what's actually going on in Afghanistan and to organize with other people like you who want this war to end.